Good morning. Let me do a little bit of adjusting here. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. This morning you see in the title, it says the power to change. I don't know if you guys are anything like me. Um, you've definitely had things that come up in your life that are recurring things. And you're like, I just, I got to change you know, this aspect of my life. And I want to talk to you guys today as it relates to, um, I, I share with you that I would talk about the difference in motivation and empowerment. Have you ever had, maybe you watched a broadcast or uh, you read something and that thing just really stood out. It was like an aha moment for you. Maybe you were watching Oprah. <laughs> and it was an aha moment for you. And in that moment, you said, you know what? Yes, I am going to do this differently. I'm going to change. And you go out and you begin getting the supplies. Maybe it's working out, right? Maybe your thing was working out. Or maybe it was something in your finances or your business or um, in the type of relationships, whatever, but you saw something and immediately you said, I'm going to change that. And you go and you begin taking action, uh, from the thing that you heard that aha moment of, um, of the words or whatever it was that you saw that inspired you to change. So you begin doing it right and you do it maybe one to two times. Guys, did you know that studies show that most people who set a goal in January, which is, you know, I think it's a great time to set goals, although I just have like a lifelong goal that I've, I set and I just look at it in intervals. So I'm not big on setting new year goals specifically because my goals just continue to run. So. I pretty much plan out what I'm going to do for the next year, the end of the year before. So, But anyway, I think that there is power for those who need that motivation or inspiration in the beginning of the year because it's, it's a buzzword. Everybody's talking about it. But studies show that uh, over 90% of the people, 90 or 75, I can't remember my stats right now, um, just off the top of my head, who set goals at the beginning of the year by the first week in March, people have, you know, fallen back from those goals, right? Statistically. So if you're feeling like, <clears throat> you know, I've been setting out to do this goal and it just seems like I cannot push past, you know, maybe March, sometimes February at best, sometimes by the third week in January, you know, the thing that you set out to do, you just don't do it anymore, you saw something that inspired you to go ahead and you know as I said before it didn't work maybe it was something that you did in your business so maybe you had a new product or program or service that you wanted to offer in your business and you did it maybe one to two times and then you didn't get the interaction that you wanted so you stopped that and then you started doing something else I mean you saw something else that you know, motivated you or inspired you to do something else and then you're on to the next thing. Well, guys, that is mainly what the results of motivation is, right? Remember I shared with you guys that I would tell you the difference in motivation and empowerment. And hopefully this will give you clarity when you're seeking out what you need to do next in your life and your business. So, then there are other times where you hear something and you know that your life has been changed because you heard it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're able to go and complete that change or whatever it is that you're desiring to do in that moment, but it's something that, that transpired on the inside of you that will not let you let go of this thing that you heard. There's a, It's a different type of determination that has occurred. And so now your everyday thoughts and actions are leaning towards that thing. Even when life happens, you know, things don't go that way. That thing that has switched and changed on the inside of you 
empowers you to continue moving forward in that direction. Does that make sense to you guys? You guys let me know in the comments. Does that make sense to you guys? We're talking about the difference in motivation and empowerment. Now, I personally believe that both of them are important. I personally believe that motivation and empowerment are both important. However, I empowerment more than I do motivation because I believe that once you're empowered to do something, you don't need as much motivation in order to do it. So motivation may be the thing, once you've been empowered to do something, motivation may be the thing that you go to daily, you know, just to keep your stamina and your thought process. So I'll shameless plug, I'll use my affirmation guide. So that will be a place of empowerment. And because you'll do it on a daily basis, it'll be motivation as well. So I believe they're both important. But I believe that the biggest transformation, I know this to be true, that occurs is when you've been empowered. And that's what I do as a transformational coach. So even when you're looking for uh, a coach for any particular area of your life, this may help you to determine what type of coach you're looking for in that season. So this is a this is probably a simple way to think about it. You've got before you've heard me talk about uh, transaction transaction and transformation that's probably the closest i can come to giving you definitions for motivation and empowerment so with motivation it'll make you do the thing in that moment to get the result in that moment but you need it all the time empowerment actually transforms how you're thinking doing and being right? It's, it's a transformation that, that occurs. So I looked up the words um, motivation and empowerment. And of course, I misplaced my card that quick. So I'm going to give you guys some things that I remembered that really stood out for me when I was comparing those two terms. For inspiration, <clears throat> the word basic, I meant for motivation, the word basic was in the you know definitions for that and i was like wow so when you think about something that motivates you it may do the basic thing that you need i can even think about it when it comes to fulfilling the basic needs in your life <clears throat> but when i saw empowerment it said giving you power and authority to change things in your life to shift things around in your life. And I did a broadcast yesterday called Faith in the Industry for Kingdom Entrepreneurs or just talking about Kingdom Entrepreneurship. And I believe that the kingdom is um, a message of empowerment. And I believe that God's desire with the kingdom message was for us to align our life um, so that we're making right choices <clears throat> that cause us to be as prosperous and as, and as abundant as we could possibly be. The kingdom to me is a, a full circle experience. Another shameless plug. So name my business, new full circle. And one of the things that I focus on, um, so maybe I'll have a specific um, thing that I'm teaching like branding or business building. Even within that, I use empowerment in order to help people to not only do the transactional thing needed to build their brand, to give them the empowerment, letting them know they have the authority. So the way that I teach imparts empowerment into them and their entire life changes. So it, they're transformed, their thought process is transformed. Um, they begin looking at experiences, uh, things that are available to them in a completely different realm. So I normally, uh, in two of my programs in specific, I include, well, three uh, that are around branding and business building. I also include empowerment in what I call the six elements of life alignment, the six elements of life alignment. And they are career and finances, health and wellness, home, learning and self-improvement, um, emotional alignment, and then your social and your cultural alignment. That's a full circle event. When you are empowered, you're empowered to make changes 
in those different areas in your life that are going to bring you full circle results. Now, if it was just a transactional co course, um, then I would just teach you brand and business building. And that's where mentoring comes in for me too. So I'm a transformational growth strategist, business coach and mentor. I'm also a certified life coach, but I incorporate that in what I do because I found that just teaching strategies sometimes only blesses people for that moment. But when there's empowerment, if adversity comes or life happens, you know, unexpected things happen in life or things that happen in life just happen, then they the empowerment is on the inside of them. That authority that I've transferred to them through my teaching and my coaching and training is on the inside of them and they can always grab a hold of that. And this is how we see change you know, really happen in our life. So if we're wondering like, why am I continuously going through these cycles? Sometimes, <clears throat> even once you've been empowered, the cycles that you see are part of the residue where you're removing some of the things that will come, but you'll notice that they're happening less and less and you're more focused and even more determined to get to that thing that's going to actually bring your life full circle, bring harmony, prosperity, and abundance in your life. So on the inside of each one of us is a seed of greatness. If you, Even if you come back on the comments, it's important, put that in the comments, a seed of greatness. So what empowerment does is it waters that seed. It lets you know the power and the, the authority that you have. And this is what causes you to change your life. Now, we can be motivated all day long. We'll go do it one or two times and then it's back to the norm again. But with empowerment, even if you don't do it as consistently, not completely change, there's a pull on the inside of you because that seed of greatness has been watered. That's what I do as a coach and a mentor. So for those of you who are, you know, considering, I do know that I need a coach, whether it's in a career and finances, health and wellness, home, family and relationships, your learning, self-improvement, your mental and emotional, your social and cultural life, where, whatever area. Remember, I call them the six, six elements of life alignment and um, I detail them in my affirmation guide where I help you begin to affirm where it is that you desire to go. I saw a post um, earlier this morning and this young lady, um, I understand that what she does in her business, but the majority of her posts are about what went wrong and what didn't go well. And in all honesty, although I love the person, I know that I'm probably going to have to snooze their particular timeline because it's not empowering to me at all. And I understand that we're being transparent and you know maybe we feel we're blessing someone, but I feel when we focus on disappointment more than we focus on our expectation, then we attract that same thing back into our lives all the time. And if I'm not careful, if I'm consistently watching that, it changes my energy, it changes my flow, it changes the direction that I'm thinking and your thoughts become things. So you guys know I talk about abundance mindset, personal growth and business building and mainly your mindset is 80% of whatever it is that you're doing. And so when you are empowered to change your life and to do things differently, you begin to protect the process that the empowerment has done. Life. And protection for you may be similar to me where sometimes I have to snooze people that I like. It's because their message isn't empowering. Their message is actually kind of undercover um, complaints. And listen, y'all don't even understand how much I know how life happens. And um, I've started to go things that I've endured believe that even in our testimonies about things, we should be doing it from a healed space and from a space where we're actually empowering people to do better and not taking them back in the dumpster, you know, in their thinking, you know, where we're planting more trash in their head, right? Because we can get in this woe is me phrase. So I share that because there are different things that I, you know, will share with you all over time that you probably wouldn't imagine that I have had to go through. 
my life. But one of the reasons why I'm able to continue to move forward is because of empowerment. It's not because of motivation. Motivation may have been the thing, that aha thing that I heard in the beginning, right? That, you know, <clears throat> you know, started pushing me forward, but it's, it's empowerment that's on the inside of me. And that's what I share with my private clients. Um, I share it on my uh, lives with you all, but I do it through teaching, training and coaching, you know, with my private clients, because I understand that empowerment waters the seed of greatness on the inside of you. <clears throat> I'm going to say that again. Empowerment waters the seed of greatness on the inside of you. It transfers the authority that you already have to make different life choices, whether it's your business, your health, whatever that area is that you may be focusing on for the next 30, 60, 90 days. It empowers you to do that. So I was one of my um, mastermind clients, <clears throat> we were going over a branding segment. So in my mastermind, I go really, really deep into branding. And we were talking about, um, I was detailing different types of brands and I asked her which one did she think that I was or what was the thing that stood out for her the most when it came, when she looked at my brand. And she said that it was to empower people to become the highest version of themselves. Now, I couldn't have been any more happy because that is the message that I want to um, deliver. That is what I want my brand to speak and say and to hear someone who's never really heard me say, this is what I would like for people to see when they see my brand. It was empowering, right? But in that, it made me say, yes, continue to stay exactly where you are because my desire is to empower you to operate at the highest version of yourself. I know that abundance is your birthright. I know that, um, you know, the, the things that is on the inside of your heart, they're not just there. That's just not something you thought of. That was a seed that was planted. And my assignment, my goal is to empower you to water those seeds to help you understand that you have the authority to be able to make them happen. So when I was looking at, you know, the difference in motivation and um, empowerment, motivation was more, remember I shared it, the word basic came up with motivation and advancement was a word that came up with empowerment. <clears throat> and I think that's, all, that's amazing. Um, I saw the word power, advancement, authority, um, and all of those words speak to operating at the highest version of yourself. So I encourage you on today, when you're looking at um, even the classes and courses and things that you want to take for your business, base the value on what you're purchasing on the value of what it can do for you in the full, right? Sometimes we need a transaction. Some, sometimes we need to learn how to do just this thing right here. But if it's a system that you're going to want to implement into your life to make it better or your business, you're going to want to be empowered and not just motivated to do it. Motiv motivation alone is the reason why, you know, people rarely change because they only do it for a moment because they were motivated. They weren't empowered. Nothing changed on the inside. So empowerment changes your mind. Now your mind is your, your, your soul changes your soul. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotion. Um, if you, if you guys think about the scripture that says, as a man thinks, so is he. Thinks in his heart, right? So is he. Your heart is the equivalent of your mind, right? Even the scripture that says, um, wherever a man's treasures are, and I'm probably tearing it up, that's where his heart is as well right? So whatever it is that you really treasure, your mind, your thoughts, that it's going to be on, on that all the time. It's going to show up in your actions. Remember I said we think a thought, right? Our thoughts, our words um, impart our thoughts, our thinking impart our emotions, and our emotions impart our actions. And there are specific times in your life where you will move beyond motivation into a space where, right? That really causes you to see change in your life. That is my take on today, guys. Again, for those of you who are interested, my uh, mentorship and branding bootcamp 
is open as well as my mastermind. If you want links to that, you can just hit me up. Other than that, you can always catch me at renewfullcircle.com, renewfullcircle.com. I'm adding some um, things on to that site. I'm going to have a Renew TV se section there with just a few of my videos um, for those of you who are coming on and watching. There's also an opportunity. I think if you go to the blog section, it'll give you an opportunity to join my email list uh, and my blog list. So you'll get the blogs when they come out first, as well as um, new insight and information for building your business and building your life. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, transformational growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women, service-based business owners, those who are aspiring uh, to coach, teach, and train as well. I focus on abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building, helping you to create the business and the lifestyle that you love.